Hey everyone, it's Callie here, and today I'm going to do a craft with Callie and show you how to make a Littlest Pet Shop iPhone without using cardboard. So today I have a question of the day. Do you ever get it when like this app texts you and then keeps on texting you and you're like, oh my gosh, I don't care. I keep on getting this app and I was like, and it was like, hey, play with me. And then I went on the app and then I'm like, oh, I don't want to play with you. And it's like, play with me, play with me, play with me. Comment down below if you have something like that going on. And you're probably noticing that we've been using these like torn up nails for the last few videos, but I decided not to like change the nail polish because we're crafting so they might chip. So I'm just gonna make them chip today. So yeah, please don't, please don't hate me, but I'm just gonna make them chip today because we're crafting and yeah. The materials you will be needing for this project are index cards, and they don't have to be like clean like this one, like not having any writing, because we're not going to show the part with the writing, but we might show the back. It's optional if you want to show the back, but the main part why we need these index cards is for this, the sides. The second thing you're going to need is scissors. They can be like just like crafting scissors. Maybe you can use fabric scissors, but it just has to cut like the index cards and paper. So yeah, why do I have sticky tack in here? The third thing you're gonna need is glue, and it doesn't have to be liquid glue. Yeah, basically glue that can just stick stuff is fine. This is all like glitter glue and stuff. So yeah, to decorate the back of your phone. The fifth thing you're going to need, and this is optional again, is these, um, these nail art things. Because you know how, like, on a phone, how, like, when you break the thing that, like, gets you home on, like, the iPhone 4? Um, you might want those, like, circle things. Like, let me show you. Like, these circle gems to like replace that probably like a clear one but yeah gonna need those actually. and then the last thing you're gonna need is like a computer and printer or like any magazines where you find like electronics like your phone or like an ipad if you want to make an ipad because you can make like both of those things in this video let's get started I know I said let's get started, but I'm just gonna give a heads up. We had to change like the location because my phone is like only like 5% right now or 4%. So we have to go in the charger. I don't know. <laughs> and just a heads up is that um, we changed the location. It's not on my desk anymore because it needs to be on my desk. But like the phone needs to charge. So. Like, I just moved to this location. So, yeah. Now, we can get started with the thing. So. Yeah. So, for the first way, you can do this. Thing. So, for the first way, you can do something for the first step. I'm sorry, but I don't really have all the materials for it. But, I can explain it. So, you're going to take your scissors and cut pictures of phones like the screen of an iPhone or Galaxy. You can make a Galaxy 2 which is a type of phone or like any type of like electronic or like iPad you know what I mean but not a computer or like a game controller or whatever you want to call it but you're gonna cut like the screen that you see out on the magazine if you don't have a computer and printer. Now for the second way you can do it. You could probably guess what the second way is, and since I said it needed a computer and printer, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna print out the phones. So, yeah, print them out. And something sad about this craft is that I, right now, I only have black and white printer. So, yeah. <laughs> But if you share the same issue as me, the way I'm doing it, 
is also what you can do if you have a black and white printer. <laughs> so I've gotten it printed out, and so yeah, I'll show you what it looks like. Ta -da! What you're gonna do for the first step is you're going to cut out your image. So here's the um, the iPhone all cut out, but don't worry, it's not done yet. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your, uh, what's it called, uh, index card, and you're going to take it and you're going to glue it, this, on your index card. Use your scissors to cut it out. Cut around it, so like, um, this is my handwriting, but uh, just cut around it. So then you have like with the index card and the, um, the phone glued together and cut out. If your cut has a little bit of rough edges, you can just take a nail file and file the edges smooth. So then it's like all smooth and stuff. And You basically have your iPhone done right now, but mine is really thin, so add multiple layers of index cards to make it thicker. If you have a black and white printer, just color or um, use a Sharpie to color in the screen so that's black so it looks like there's no screen and the phone is off. Also color the sides of your phone with the sharpie and you can leave the back plane or accessorize it uh nothing like a day at the beach oh what are you what are you